Okay, um, so we're now going to just talk about uh, browning different types of meats. Right. Um, this could be, we've got chicken here today. Yeah. We've got a whole chicken which we're going to roast and we're going to roast some lamb. Uh, and we've got some chicken thighs. Now right. we're going to put the chicken thighs in first, mm -hmm. but this could also be a steak. Yeah. This could be a pork chop, this could be uh, chicken thighs, chicken wings, pieces. Yeah. We're going to start at, do you remember the temperature? 230. 230 degrees. Yeah. Uh, so with the meat, it's a medium high, but you, what you want it to do is golden brown caramelize. Mm. Um, so you can just put those straight in. What would normally happen if you've got cold meat, put it in a hot pan with no oil, what would normally happen? Uh, it would stick and burn. With Salad Master, we're not adding oil. You see, if you were going to um, brown, as I said, pork chops, beef, steaks, mm. uh, any type of meat, golden brown. Now, we haven't added any spices here either, Victoria. There's a little bit of rosemary there, which has come from the lamb. Yeah. Um, but you could marinate this. Yeah. If you wanted to do a jerk chicken, you could marinate it overnight. Mm. You could put your soya sauce, your herb mix, your maggot, whatever you wanted to add, you could prepare that in advance. Today's not really, we're going to share with people about cooking their recipes. They already know how to cook. We just want to show you the technique and how you would do it. So you start from preheating, put the meat straight into the cookware, no oil, about 10 minutes, that will be golden brown. Right. And it will actually release from the cookware without, uh, without any oil at all. Now, you can see here at the moment, the chicken has actually stuck to the cookware. But, and you can see the oil coming out there, Victoria. Can yeah. you see that? Yeah. So we didn't need the oil. The fact that we're going to take some chicken, some oil out of the chicken. Um, but in about 10 minutes time, that will just turn with a, with a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to use it as an oven, you put the lid all the way on. All the way on. Yeah. So if you're going to do your rice or you're mm. going to do a lasagna, the lid all the way on. We're going to be grilling meats. So we just crack the lid. So if you're going to grill, crack the lid. If you're going to use an oven, put the lid all the way on. Right. Okay, so about 10 Fantastic. minutes time, we'll come back to that. Excellent. So we're going to be using the brazier pan here now. Right. Uh, and what we're actually going to do with it is we're going to do a roast. So we're going to use a roast chicken. We're going to do a roast uh, leg of lamb. Um, and what we've got to do first of all is preheat. Okay. So we're going to do the water dance. Wow, that's ready. That's definitely ready, isn't it? That's ready. So what we're doing, Roger, is we're going to be cooking two different types of meats together. So we're going to be doing the lamb together and the chicken together. And what you're going to find, this is the beauty of Salad Master, is there's going to be no transference of flavours whatsoever. And what's great about this is that you can put two different types of meat in one piece of cookware. We've got lamb that we've seasoned, but we haven't seasoned the chicken. Now today is not about seasoning, you know, it's not about herbs and spices, because we're all going to cook different and you're all going to cook your way. So what we've done here is we've preheated, the meat is in, and we're just going to roast this. So this is the browning process. What's going to be great, Victoria, is normally when you've got to do your meats, you've got to baste and baste and baste. Yeah. With Salad Master, when we actually put the lid on, when we stop browning, all of the juices are going to stay inside the cookware. So it's actually going to make its own gravy in the cookware. The chicken is just going to fall off the bone, and the lamb is just going to be so tender. Great. Right. So then Salad Master is self-basting. Absolutely. Uh, and you can do any type of meat. We're doing lamb, we're doing chicken, we can do beef, we can do pork, mm -hmm. you can do it all the same way. You know the crackling you get on the pork? Yeah. You can actually do that. It's a bit of piece here, put the, the, put the flight lines into your pork, put it skin side down, and it will it'll make your pork ah, crispy, crispy brown. Very good. So what I'm going to do now, Victoria, just going to turn the meat over, just make sure it's golden brown. Yeah. Um, get that nice uh, roasted effect on top of the, uh, the meat. Um, so just to check, you'll know when it's ready to be turned over because the meat will just release from the cookware. Excellent. So you'll see. You remember it was stuck? I showed you the chicken was stuck. But when it's ready, there you go, it's ready. So it's now ready to be turned over. Look at wow. that. Wow. And that look excellent. So perfectly roasted on the hob. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I love about salad masking stories, you know when you're using a normal oven, they use about two kilowatts of energy. Two kilowatts of energy per hour. Look at the colour there. Wow. We're using about two kilowatts of energy per hour. With Salad Master, up on here on the hob, we're using about half to a quarter of a kilowatt. So instead of doing a roast chicken this size in an oven this size, yeah. we're actually doing a roast exactly to the right size of the meat that we're cooking. Yeah. So it's very, very very energy uh, conservative. Doesn't that look great? Yeah. Anyone hungry? Yeah. <laughs> So we'll just brown the other side for a few moments, then we'll put the lid on and we'll start to roast and baste. Okay. okay, so now we've got the chicken. Again, the same thing. You'll know when the chicken's ready to be turned because it just releases perfectly from the cooker. Just wow. try it. Okay. Okay. 
Now again, if you wanted to add any, we're going to put some onions in here, but if you wanted to add any herbs or any spices, just add what it is that you like. Today we just want to simply show you the technique of browning meats without any oil. Now again, this isn't something that you need to do, Victoria, but you can see here, the actual chicken had, had some oil in there. Yeah. It wasn't us that needed the uh, oil, the chicken already has some oil in there. So if you wanted to, you can just take the oil out. That's got to be a healthy way to cook, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, ultra healthy. Ultra healthy, perfect. Great, we'll just let that go golden brown for a moment, then we'll, put, we'll add some onions. Yeah. So let's just do a quick meat checklist. So we showed you how to preheat roughly two minutes. We did the water test, mm -hmm. and then you saw the water beading on the surface of the cookware. Then what you do is you add your meat at that point, and that can be your chicken, it can be your lamb, it can be your beef, it can be your pork, whichever meat you're cooking, that's the way you do it. And then what you do is you would crack the lid because now we are frying. Browning, yeah, that's seasoned or unseasoned, however you want to cook the meat. Perfect. So we're now ready, we've got the uh, lamb here, the chicken is now gone golden brown on both sides. We really want to start some sort of uh, moisture in there. If you wanted to, you could do a whole pot roast up here onto the hobby area. So once you've browned the meats and they've started to cook through, you can add your whole carrots in here, potatoes in here, sweet potatoes. Everything's done in the one piece of cookware. Yeah. Um, one of the things my wife doesn't like doing is cleaning an oven, Victoria. I don't know about you. <laughs> um, no, but okay. the good thing with Salad Master, because we, we're working on the hob like an oven, is when you finish cleaning your cookware, you clean your oven. Right. Good. good. That's very good. Perfect. 